Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning's edition of the Daily Devo. I'm Bob Branch, your host for this morning. We've been talking about orienting our lives around God by praying the Lord's Prayer on a regular basis. But as Larry Lee used to say years ago, praying it real slowly, that we don't just kind of pray it and say the words, but we pray within the themes that are actually revealed there. And as we do, we calibrate our lives, we orient our lives around God and his best for the planet, his best for us, his best for people around us. And in this third edition, I want to talk about, because last yesterday we talked about this idea of surrendering, of submitting to the will of God. But today I just want to talk to you just for a few moments about you, you actually have to know the will of God that you're submitting to. And the, the best way, there's two ways that you can know this primarily. One is by spending time in the scriptures and two is by the Holy Spirit revealing it to you. But most of the time you're going to, this is going to be written on your soul by you spending time regularly, I want to say daily, in the Bible, in the scripture, that you open the scripture up and that you look for him and you interact with him within the contents of the scripture. So Jesus said it this way in John chapter 15, verse 7. He said, if you abide, if you make your home in me and my words abide in you, then ask whatever that you wish and it will be given you. So there's a there's some conditions there in terms of answered prayer. There's this making our home in Jesus, and Jesus' word making its home in us. And we have got to store it up. Like Mary, he, she stored up these things that the angel said uh, to her about giving birth to a son as a virgin, um, that, that she stored these things up and she treasured them in her heart. That's what we're doing each day when we spend time looking for God in the scriptures looking for God in the scriptures, seeking and finding God by opening up the scriptures and saying, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. This is maybe a, a bit different than you are normally used to in terms of how you open up the scriptures, but every single day I open up the scriptures and I basically am looking for God there. I'm, I'm looking for him. I'm looking for his heart. I'm interacting with him in first person. I'm not making this up. I'm not, he's not my imaginary friend. I'm not just taking these words kind of stoically off the page and saying, I must obey them like a robot. That's not what this is like at all. I'm in relationship with a God of the universe who actually enjoys me and I enjoy him. He wants you to enjoy him and seek and find him and know him and he enjoy you. Now that's a different paradigm, but to be able to submit to God's will, I think it's important for us to be able to say firstly that this is the person who really loves you loves you more than anyone has ever loved you in your life, knows everything about you, and still loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And this one that you love, he wants you to know his will. He wants you to know him. And so as you open up the scriptures, you start simply by starting to ask some good questions. One of the things that I do before, and I have plenty of education in this whole thing, but I still will go in when I'm reading a particular book and I'll read sequentially chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, etc. I'll read a Bible handbook like how to read the Bible book by book or something like that by Gordon Fee and Doug Stewart just to orient myself generally to the themes and the, the date and the authorship and different things and the general gist of why this is written and by whom and to whom. And so I'll read those things just to orient and acquaint myself once more, even though, again, I've taught most of these things in my life, I still need to orient myself. And then I start going in and I'm looking for God within the context of the scripture. And I'll ask questions like this. And this is what I want to encourage you to ask as you open up, God, open up the Bible with God, that you ask to the Lord, you know, you ask him, you know, what about this passage uh, reveals you to me? What does this reveal about you. Maybe this reveals that, that, that you are surprisingly merciful in a situation where it seems like justice would be the right thing. It might be that you opt for justice, that you want things set right. It might be that, that you are deeply, God, you're deeply grieved by this situation. 
Everything that we see in the Bible has got some sort of a purpose, but we ask, we're asking, Lord, what does this reveal about you to me so that I can know you better? And I interact with him first person singular. Wow, Lord. So that's how you see this. Wow, that's not how I see this. And as we do this, we become acquainted with the will of God. We begin, become acquainted with the heart of God. With, and, and then the challenge then is to take our vision and then filter that and pray that into our day's worth of activities. That we don't just kind of say, okay, got my daily dose of the Bible, so you know a, a verse a day keeps the pastor away. No, 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 no. We're doing, what we're trying to do is we want God's word to abide, find its home, find the pay dirt in ourselves. And as it does, then we begin to pray that back to the Lord. And as we pray that back to the Lord, that this begins to take on flesh in us. And so then I will then take those themes and I'll look at my day through those themes and how does this challenge, how do these things that I'm learning about you and knowing of you today, how do these things affect how I go about my day? I think about the people that I know that I'm going to encounter the day and then I perhaps ask about people that I don't know but that God knows in this whole thing. And then the last piece of this that I want to encourage you on is that then you decide that you commit with the Lord. You don't you don't just say well, you know, I'm going to pull myself up by my bootstraps, by, but by so help me, God, I am going to go your direction on these things, Lord, with your help, with your grace, with your strength, with your spirit, with your direction. I'm going to go these directions. And so I open myself up to you. I ask you to reveal your will to me. I choose to submit to your will, and I decide to go that direction as you reveal it the, today. And so again, you, we, we've, we've at, talked about this idea of knowing the will of God, you know, uh, more generically of God, what even do I have any imagination about what that would look like? We talked about submitting to ourselves to the will of God today. We talked about knowing the will of the one who we're submitting to so that when we pray that back, that we don't just kind of get stuck in nowheresville and not really thinking, how can we apply this? How can we put some flesh on this? And then tomorrow we will talk about what it is that Jesus means when he says kingdom come. When Jesus is talking about the kingdom coming, he means some very particular things. And those are the things that we need to also calibrate ourselves to in terms of asking of God. With that, I want to sign off for today, but I'm so glad that you decided to tune in. I'm just blessed beyond measure by being able to share these times with you. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm with you in this goofy, you know, quarantining coronavirus season but I'm so glad that you tuned in. I hope that this has been a benefit to you. Thanks for tuning in. I love you.